Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. In the previous video, we wrapped up Megumi Yakishiji's story, and in all honesty, I really liked it. I liked that one a lot. I liked all their stories so far. Especially their conclusions, and especially, like, when we see them prepare or get into the robot for the final battle. Like, it's so fucking good. And everything. And, you know, I like how it really wraps up all these characters. And we learn how the pieces slowly fall into place, you know. We're get the Avengers have assembled is basically what's going on in these things. And I love it so much. We learned kind of something that we already knew in a way. About Fluffy, you know, Fluffy being the Jiro Izumi from 2188, not the Izumi that Yakishiji knows, but he tried his best to get Jiro, the Izumi's memories that she remembered back into Jiro, and it worked, and Jiro and Yakishiji shared a nice moment together, and something I'm still fucking confused about is this right here. Is everything but like what the who who is this for? It can't be Seki Gahara. Is it was it is I forgot I forgot that Mira shows up here. Could could this be about Mira? Because this Fluffy shows up in here. And this happens after No, that happened before these scenes, so I ooh, I actually like how you know this is the final scene before this. Although I kinda wish there was like one, I feel like there should have been one scene here in that, hey, we're getting an announcement of the attack. Granted, that's what happens in this scene and in this scene too, but I kind of wish like it was more like, you know, from their perspective of like they're just, you know, sitting at school and then you see the attack happen. I don't know. There's still some stuff happening in between here, but I, I freaking love all these scenes, the Invincible, invinc invincible schoolgirl, the Jokurabe scene, and the vow to victory. Like, they're all so good, all so good so far. So, all right now here, well, let's go to one that's another one. Very, the, they're all very interesting story stories, and I can't wait to see them wrap up. And choose, let's go. It's no different. So let's go wrap them up. All right. So hopefully, I'm going to try my best not to like bullshit a lot, but I do plan to do a battle in this. So let's just see what happens. Return home. Shit, I kind of forgot what ha Oh, right, right. So, we saw the scene of Megumi shooting Shu, but we didn't see... And then we saw what happened afterwards, where he went into the outer worlds, went to orbit, and then he came back, back down with Yuki, and then that's when Ida and Shinonome showed up. We don't know what happened in between that and when Shinonome shoots Ida. Are we going to see that now? I don't know. I, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing that now. Those government spooks are keeping an eye on me. Yeah, no shit. At this rate, they could just take me away and nobody would ever know. So this has to have happened afterwards. Miyuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. Uh huh. So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. And beyond that, nothing. Wish Big old nothing. It was all a dream. Big old a nothing. Private little adventure with Yuki chan. So she was watching me this whole time? On behalf of that shady outfit? Is that why she approached me at all? Yuki-chan. Ah. Uh, no, wait. I'm the one who approached her. Yeah, remember? And she has to keep an eye on me? Well, hey, maybe this isn't so bad after all. Okay, seeing the good in this, I guess. So she's been monitoring me this whole time? She's actually some secret service government spy. Not by choice. That's crazy. Also, not gonna lie, weirdly hot. Of course. Of course, I'll say that. The way Miyuki and Abba tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were. They already happened. It's all in the past. It's all in the past. In my dream, her soul was in an android body. That's gotta be the craziest feeling. What would it even be like not having a body of your own? Oh, 
back in my dream. He called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... <sighs> well, it's not just our names. Um, he and I are totally different people. Well, I thought he would uh, mention the Ida that he met. That he literally just met, but I guess not. <gasps> Shukun, please help me. Yeah, about that. Hey. He knows I'm here now. Yeah. He's going to try to have me eliminated. What? Wait, wait, what do you mean, eliminated? So much I still don't get here. Listen, I'm just gonna die, so let me... Like, just fucking help me, okay? But I had to hack my way in to reach you. My connection won't last long. Go for it. When you say he, you mean Tetsuya Ida? Yes. Why is he after you? Because I'm helping you. Okay, uh, remember, okay. I actually just forgot to mention. So, this is the last person. She was the only other person that has a different name compared to his dream self, those past events and all that stuff that they've seen. We know about the Sector Zero that we saw during uh, Fuyasaka's story. At the end of her story, we learned about Sector Zero, how it's like it makes a copy of herself, and then the loop happens, and then you're basically like, oh, there you are as a 16-year-old or 16 years younger. So now it's like, you're an illusion, you're not real, you gotta fix yourself, you gotta fix yourself, you gotta like, slowly put your memories into that person. We know that Morimura stopped doing that with Fuyasaka. She's like, yeah, we can't do that, but Ida's probably still trying to do that with Shu here, so that he can get with Kisaragi. Because that's all that he cares about, is just getting with Kisaragi. He doesn't give a fuck about anyone else. So, even though... Ida may not be a main villain or a bad guy. Well, he's a bad guy, but he's not like the main antagonist. He's the main antagonist in my eyes. I was right. He's trying to reset Project Ark. He wants to reset it. What would that do? I'm so surprised we haven't gotten that yet in the Mystery Archives. Maybe we'll get it now. The world would be destroyed by Kaiju. Right. Right. They want to start over. Yes. Do the looping. Start this world from the beginning. They've done it before. Yes. I think I can't. I might have been during Sekigahara's story, but remember, he. I think he mentioned that before. Like, yeah, no, you are gonna help me with this shit and that shit. So I think it was during Sekigahara's story, but I remember Ida mentioning how we're gonna loop again. So that's why he. That's. That's probably why he doesn't want Project Ages to go through, is because then we won't be able to loop. Now, remember back in Sekihara's story, they mentioned how time will stop and be destroyed. That was Ida that told us that. So that's all bullshit. Time, you just won't be able to move forward in time. Like, you won't be able to shift. Not time travel. You won't be able to shift and you won't be able to loop. You'll be stuck in that time period and everyone will be stuck in that time period. So, which, I mean, granted, the ship, the, every other area is fucked anyway, so it don't matter. So everyone would get to live happily ever after with their significant others, which is fantastic. So, so but remember, Ida's the one that told us that bullshit. And that made us doubt Project Aegis, even though that's what we're tech, that's what we're doing in the final battle. So it's like, well, why are we doing that if we, like, if Sekigahara learns that's bullshit? But I think that's the thing. Yeah, that won't be fun. You're talking about kaiju now? You've already seen them. <sighs> you mean those things in my dreams? Yes. The Sentinels were built to fight those kaiju. To defend the world you call home. So it's just space beyond the enclosure walls. That means we're in some huge spaceship, right? Why does all of this exist? Why cover up the truth? There is a supercomputer hidden below your town. Oh yeah, I we call it Universal Control. Yeah, fuck Universal Control, by the way. I guess 
what would happen then? Would we all just be in this enclosure? Of that 30 kilometers? I guess what would happen then? Or would it like reset the world in a way? It's like, oh. Oh, it's like, hey, the Japan did it. They they saved the world. Now the now let's make ourselves into Earth 1987. So Right. Why? Possibly to make your lives easier. Possibly to make you easier to manage. Even I couldn't tell you the real reason. Probably a little calm A, calm B. So okay. why are you trying to help us? Because she don't you want this don't shit. You know who I am. You and I have met many times in your dreams. Here it is. She is Tomo Kisaragi in 2188, most likely. Oh, that song from my dream. You don't mean you're. You finally realized. This is how I got past universal control. I sang on an inconspicuous broadcast. With all my heart. YouTube, man. Just like I used to. Kisaragi. Yes, it's me. But a different Tomi Kisaragi from the one in your world. And. <gasps> this is the Kisaragi that was built as an android. Oh, fuck I'm me. Not human anymore. Yeah, I know it's that. Data on a computer. Go on. No. Oh, shit. He's at Sector 3's terminal. Help me, Shukun. You're my only hope. If we don't stop him, he'll erase me. What should I do? Inside the outer walls. I hid your sentinel in. Hey! Uh oh. No, come on! Don't leave me hanging like this! She's been reaching out to me, using my TV set to break through the walls that separate us. Yeah. She's the Tomi Kisaragi I saw in my dreams. The Tomi Kisaragi who has no body left, just a mind inside a machine. Just a mind inside a machine. She's gone. Fuck. What happens if I go there? Can I really make a difference? Hells yeah, you can't gotta find your sentinel. This is gonna be a huge mess. Nope. Nope. A girl has asked for my help. I can't just run away from this. I'll go. And I'll figure out the rest when I get there. Bring Takamiya with ya. Is that supposed to be like a sunset or something? At least turn off the TV. Oh. Any sudden moves and I shoot. I Shinonome. Shit. Guess they would be watching me. Shinonome Senpai. The door was locked. How did you get in? You fucking open it, you ass. I broke the lock. Oh, or that. With that gun? There was an agent too. I put him to sleep. Hey! She gonna help us? Alright. You were at the park with him. Are you with the Shady Spy Bureau, too? Yes. Me. So, what do you want with me? I need your Sentinel. My Sentinel? Call it here. I'd rather That's not. That's thing I can do? I have no idea how. Senpai, I'm sorry. But I've got something I need to do. You want me to shoot you? Not really. I have to go stop Ida. Huh? Sounds like we're on the same side. Yay! Huh. Oh, okay. I won't shoot you then. Aww. She's adorable with a helmet on. Yeah. That's where the sentinel's hidden. Apparently. 
That's some sentinel. It must weigh hundreds of tons. How does it fly in the air? Fourth gen. But what I really don't understand is how you controlled it without any problems. <laughs> you think that was without what problems? Damages you, like what happened to me. I wasn't in there that long. So most people can't operate them. What? You mean piloting a sentinel did all that stuff to you? You know, it's not too late to turn back. It is too late. Okay, you're the boss. Easy, uh, yeah, you're the boss, boss. I'm not gonna give up now. A girl's in trouble. You know where you're going, don't you, Senpai? Look at her face. She's like, "Are you fucking kidding me, fucking playboy?" Even though he's only really had eyes for you. There are two terminals that have been analyzed so far. Sector one and sector three. But we can only get into one of them. That'd be the terminal in sector three. That's what I said, probably sector three. Not really sure I'm following here. Mr. Ida was supposed to take me with him. But he took Takamiya san instead. Oh, okay, so we'll be learning about Yuki Takamiya. Chan? What's he planning with Yuki chan? Probably so during Takamiya's story. He needed biometric ID from one of us. It's the only way he can access the terminal. Because he doesn't right now, have a biometric ID. That means a sentinel's the only way to shift in. Ah. It's just up ahead. But how can you shift with two people? Because one. I mean, unless there's like some weird compartment that you can get inside during the sentinel. Because I mean, I guess that's what. Natsuno did. Wait. Are you okay? I will be. What is this place? The outer walls of the spaceship, I guess. It's a spaceship? What are you talking about? Nah, um, uh, oh, whoa, not really uh, a spaceship. I mean, it could be. I don't okay, know. Okay, so you never found out that part. It's a long story. This doesn't make sense. How could there be a facility like this in a tunnel? I don't know how, but there is. Universal Control is a bitch. That's all I know. Oh, hey, there it is. It's really here. Neat. The one I saw at the park. That's mine. Yuki and Abba hid it here. So... So, now what? Yeah. Well, activate it. I don't know how. Yeah, but how? Touch the switch. How did you do it before? I don't know, it just kind of happened. Uh, uh, what about your activation switch? Why did I pick an idiot? You should have one somewhere on your body. A switch? It's like on its Where forehead, I think? Where were shot into you. That's where code was injected into your system. So that should be where your switch is. Can't wait to see it on Kisarage, because Kisarage's is on her back, so that's gonna that's a pain to get. Oh yeah, I got shot. Through the heart! <laughs> um Yeah, so I can't wait to see Kisarage when she activates hers. I think she got me right around here. Swipe across it. See if that starts things up. Here goes nothing. Activate. Sentinel. So I just swipe it. Swipe like left. This? Oh, his is so fucking cool. Yoink. Huh. Cool. No, man, the robot's moving. Oh, hey. Okay, I see you. So, yeah, I'm in. But for something so big, well, this cockpit looks like a single seater. If it shares design elements from number 14, which it probably does, there should be a maintenance hatch somewhere. Probably in the back. From there, I could set the shift destination. Where is it? In the back. 
I was about to say on my ass, but that works too. Get in! How's it looking down there? I've set the shift destination. Me. Now you just need to confirm it. Okay. Here we go. This thing better not let us down. Ship in two turbo. Go! Mighty engines roar. Turbo charge for more. Oops. What happened here? It's like a world after an apocalypse. Well, that is what happened. That's so. sucker high. It looks a lot like where we live. No, it's in ruins. But that is our city. We were in sector four. This what you're three. looking at is sector three. Okay. So there really is more than one enclosure. Yeah. It's down there. The bottom of that hole is the terminal. Looks like we'll fit right through. I guess we're going down. Naba needs my help. I have to stop Ida somehow. Or else, he's going to erase her. Oh, I see. I, I now see why Shin and, why we need to do this before we can do Shinonome's story. It doesn't matter. I don't care what group yuki Chan's wrapped up in. No, not Shinonome. Uh, Kisaragi. I'm going to save her. Because we learned that, and we'll probably learn, uh, we'll probably get a little more of an experience. and I shoot her. So, found a way through on Shu Amiguchi's Sentinel? I suppose this is because I chose Takamiya-kun over you. Those emotional impulses of yours. You're an ass. Really do try my patience. I'm glad you get shot after this. That's not why, Mr. Ida. <gasps> I get it. So it is you, after all. Back in my dream, he... No. You're Tetsuya Ida, huh? I know about you. I've seen a lot of your past. Well, that's inconvenient. She's still transplanting memories, then. Well, I know you, too. Oh. Fuck. So, oh, okay, okay, okay. So it wasn't like that. He wasn't doing this for universal control. He's probably still a, an illusion, so he's not real. Um, but it was... Megumi... Not Megumi. It was the pop idol, Inaba. That... Inaba, Inaba, rabbit. Oh my fucking god. It was right fucking there. It was the idol, Mayuki. I can't remember her name, but it was that idol that was giving us the memories. Not so like, oh, hey, Ida can become you. Not for that reason. It's just so like, hey, this is why he needs to be stopped and why he's being fucking crazy. Perhaps better than anyone else could. After all, I've known you all your life. Because I am you. Ever since I dropped you off, as a newborn. Explain. Off. I placed you into the Amiguchi family as a child. Then you're saying you are genetically identical to me. You are Tetsuya Ida. Right. <sighs> we knew that. Hey, wait a sec. I'm almost finished here. No, 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 no. for a moment. Na 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 na. Yuki Chan's got nothing to do with this. Let her go. I'm afraid she's a vital part of the process. Is she? I need her biometrics to access the computer. 
You should know this is partly your fault. Up until now, I had simply been borrowing your ID. But then you had to go and access your Sentinel. Which means authorization has been restored to you. Ah, okay. Yuki-chan, don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Amiguchi. You have feelings for Yuki Takamiya, I take it? Is it time? Is the final ship going Well, not the final ship. Is this ship yeah, going to be confirmed? I love her. Fuck yeah, I did! No, under any other circumstances, it'd be fascinating. Genetically identical, but our experiences made us very different people indeed. Yes, why aren't you a mother Kisonage? Who? Kisonage. I don't know who that is. Motherfucker. A shame. There Motherfucker. There's nothing you can do to change this. Oh my god, I just realized! Remember when we were here as the group? And Kisaragi was talking to a screen that was always staticky? That was Inaba! That was Miyuki! That was her! Oh my god! So here you are at last. Your singing gave you away. I recognized it instantly. I'm still your biggest fan, believe it or not. Itakun, please. Think this over. I have to start things over for the two of us. This is a mistake. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken. No, she's not. It's too late. This place will be gone soon enough anyway. Or do you have some other option to share? Even if I did, you wouldn't listen to me. Not the way you are now. You know, I was about to say, even if she did, he won't listen anyway, so... What a fucking cockbag. Oh, Miyuki Anaba said something about this. She said she knew me through my ID. Probably because he's the one she was trying to track. Stop! I won't let you erase her! Erase her? Please. I love Tomi Kisaragi. There's no need for anything as drastic as that. Yeah. You just said the four words that Ryoko Shinomone really needed to hear right now. I do need to silence her as a precautionary measure. You can cut off communications, but I'm not going to give up. I don't need to cut off communications. I actually love the fact that she has a different... Does she? I was about to say, I actually love the fact that she somewhat has a different voice than Kisaragi, but I don't know if they're the same voice actress. It could be. It doesn't matter where you are. I mean, Cassandra Lee Morris is a fantastic actress. You're a sentinel AI now. She's in a sentinel? And I happen to have command authorization over the sentinels. All of them up to number 19. That's impossible. Wait, Itakun! Wait, 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 what? He has command authorization over the sentinels from all the way to 19? Well, obviously that don't matter no more. So is he the one who injected the virus? So we could say fucking Kisaragi? Because he'd be like, oh, no, we gotta do this again. I don't know. I'm in orbit right now. I'm in I'm orbit. Attention. 
Emergency protocol. Four shut down Sentinel number 16. Oh my god, shut the fuck up, you stupid cunt! Bastard! Yeah! She'll be asleep until all of this is over. You ass. That's the last variable taken care of. I think our work here is done. We're returning to Sector 4. And you're coming with us, Shu Amiguchi. As will you, Shinonome-kun. Come on. You know you need me. No, she don't. She gonna shoot ya, bitch! Hey, really? That's my girl. We're leaving. Collect the equipment. Equipment? I know what you've really been trying to do. Back then, all those nights in the lab, you weren't trying to bring her back. You wanted to remake Kisaragi the way you wanted her to be. Ida. Sorry, but Kisaragi loves Ogata. You think we're the same person? You're nothing like me. You're not me! I'm the shadow, the true self. I'd never use a girl as some tool. <sighs> Little shit. Punch in the face. Stop right there. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, bitch. Don't move. Sh shit. Oh no, she put it stun. So. Gucci -kun. Hurry. Right. Hey, baby. You hurt Yuki-chan? Amiguchi. Ah, she's blushing. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. no Maybe give the gun to someone who's not, uh... Inconvenience. Speaking of... Ah, shit. Yowch. Amiguchi. Takamiya-kun, I suggest you come quietly. Or Amiguchi will suffer the consequences. You son of a bitch. Yuki-chan, don't risk it. <sighs> if we could hurry this up. On it, sir. What? Hey, way to go, but how did you get the gun back from him? They well, finished. that sucks. Did they shift? Yuki. Now, how do you get back? A few, a few hours later. So this goes there. Okay, nice. Now get over here, so you cockbags. Then let's do this. Dice. You need to take this seriously. Hey, you want to do this yourself? Be my guest. Keep it cool. He's doing fine. Yuki-chan. I promised I'd save her. He's somewhat dead. after her, no matter what it takes. Yeah, he somewhat saved her. Inspector Gadget. Doesn't seem as if the director's coming back. Now nah, he dead, Which son. Means it may be up to us to find our way back home. Probably best to work together for now. So you Thanks, guys really Felix. Have no idea how to work all this stuff. Our intel suggested it's just not possible for us. The only ones with clearance and ability are the special miners. Hi, that's me. But we'll certainly make an effort. Sure. Okay. How are you doing? Can't your robot do something to solve this? It's capable of transporting us across time, correct? Yeah, but I don't think it would fit two of you. My senpai was the one who set up the time travel. Sure, I can fly the thing. But I'd have no idea how to get us home. 
How much does your organization know? Do they have any real info on how this place works? Well, it's a UFO made by scientists of the future. Past, but sure. Since before our time. But, well, after your time. Buried here. No, that was before, but yeah. Underground. Okay, so you're basically clueless. Sound about right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on, out of the way. Nothing like my microcomputer at home. You think? Damn it. This doesn't look good. I can't help Miyuki and Abba. I can't even go after Yuki chan. What am I supposed to do here? <gasps> Where'd the console go? Did it work? No. Oh, well, someone's coming here. It just started moving by itself. Is it? Minami? Minami? Amiguchi kun? The data unit. Men in black. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. Wait, wait, what, really? Wow, that's a weird spot for his to end. Yeah, I'll be honest, that was a weird spot for his end, but I guess it fits. So I guess we'll have to see that during... Tomoki Saragi is unlockable, seven mystery files, and four events. Okay. Amaguchi is dramatically ID... Identical to Ida was having Ida's memories from between ages 16 and 26 transplanted into him by Mori Mora. Moreover, Ida brought the infant Amaguchi to Sector 4 the 1980s and placed him in the Amaguchi family. Right. Ida, Ida is genetically identical to Shu Amaguchi. Wow! Really need to hear that one again. The grown-up version of Tomi Kisaragi from another world back when she used to stream her songs on the internet, aka YouTube. Tatsuya Ida was a regular in her chat going by F8. The support and encouragement pushes her to get serious about her singing. In order to evade the universal control surveillance, she sang on an unmonitored broadcast and managed to connect to Shu Amaguchi through TV. She had Ida install her into Sentinel number 16 as its AI. Ah. Similar to the shifter gate, the Sentinel is capable of traveling between sectors. It has a maintenance hatch like in the Type 98 bipeds where one can set the shift destination. Pilot must confirm the shift in order to, for it to happen. The Sentinel pilots have an activation switch that's used to activate the Sentinel. Get out of here, you fucking fly. Typically, the activation switch would be where the nanomachines were injected, but if additional codes have been implemented later, then that would be the new spot for the switch. Swiping across the activation switch causes the letters STATO to appear and activate the registered Sentinel. It linked with the surface through a region called the terminal, where are there are two terminals that are that have been allied sector one and sector three. Out of the two, the terminal of sector three is the only one that allows access to the mainframe. So Amaguchi's story didn't end with him going into the final battle, but it ended We'll probably still see a scene. I I mean we kind of already saw this scene about him activating the sentinel. Uh, all these things yeah, I was about to say all these things had to happen, like maybe not all of them. SOS, return to the out world, sector three terminal, and Ida versus Amaguchi. So something happens here. And something hap Oh, he, he returns. Yeah, well, duh. He, so he were wait. Then why doesn't that one scene take place up there? Unless that's what the okay. So 
this, well not this, one of these two scenes is probably, one of them is probably, this might be, uh, Ryoko after she shoots Ida, and then this is probably Natsuno after they get her back, or after Natsuno brings everyone back home, so that'd be interesting to see. So interesting, so interesting. Okay. Alright, uh... So now Kisarage is available. This is cool. Alright, let's do a battle. Oh, my analysis is finally at 70%. That's great. This will probably get up to 80%, so... I think I should have my strike team ready. Hijama on the strike team. We're going to be modified with terror carriers. So, we are good to go. Son. Our window is gone. It's over. No, we're going to keep Don't going. Tell the others, then I understand. No, we're going to do this. Nothing. Is that who you think I am? That I'll just give up simply because I'm told to? Nah, we ain't losing, I'm not son. Just for my own survival. You know it's more than that. I'm also fine for your survival, yeah, honey baby. Battle start. What now? We're hacking to the gate. Back me up. Probably put another sentry. I don't think anyone else has a sentry gun, do they? They do not. Okay. Uh, I will, however. You know what? I have a feeling some baddies are going to show up around here, so you stay over here. The practice round's over. The practice round is over. Number 12, I'll moving try. Up. And you got... Uh, why, why am I having you go down? I want you to go this way. Number 10, moving out. <laughs> Damn machines. I guess Lyle will point out next. Die. How's that? Gotta do something. Okay. What now? I'm right here. Got him. Hope I can pull my weight. Here goes. Bingo. Got a target on the back here. Within enemy threat range. Back me up. Right there. And then Karabe will help us. Uh, Oh, get rid of that app, so. God, leg spike is so fucking cool. What? Hope I can pull my weight. No, 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 she'll make it. That. Gotcha. The bullseye. Yeah, I'll be used to fights by now. Wait, if I can do that, do demolisher blade. Demolisher blade's so much better. Yeah. Oh, 
this guy. Let's see. Try this! Bingo! Enemy down! No fight I can't win. I'm right here. Let's put another century. Let's put a century gun down here. Thank God there's like no limits to where a century gun can and can't go. Yeah, I was about to say, did that do that? I just don't know if it did. of all of them. Like it did. Ah, uh, not all of them. You're just small fry. You're just Come small back. fry. Enemy down. They're on They're like any other hawks. Come on. Got him. That's what you get.
die. I'm right here. Is a different shade? Are you come down here and help? Screw with me. That ought to do it. Man, we've got it rough. Hold still. Hold still. Bullseye. They ought to be used to fights by now. Two on this. Awesome. All good. See ya. What now? Just watch. Just I'll get rid of them. These two. Unbelievable. The mountain like an amateur. I'll make it work. Ah, the monster blade's too far. Bam! I love him so much. He's an adorable dork. Oh my god. In terms of comedy, I think Takatoji is the best. Wow! Only Natsuno's the only one that took damage? How? I wonder if 30 is the max or if they can go higher than 30. So he's done 51 battles now. Yeah, you know. Century gun. I thought that said gun for a second. Boom, boom. Of course, guys, the yucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. There has to be a point. Obviously, there's no way in hell that I have over a hundred things left in the archives that use mystery points. Why the fuck do they keep giving me mystery points? Amaguchi and Takamiya on strike team. Clear without sentinels. Drop. Uh, enhanced drum mine. RPF kaiju will appear. Okay. I'm going to have Seki Gahara up. Have those two down. Bring in Fuyasaka. And. Oh, 
Now I have two sentry guns. Do you have a sentry problem. gun? You do. The thing is... Okay, I can have these guys go down. I think I can have those three... As long as Minami does not need to be in the strike team for the next battle. Have we already had the u turn this before? I don't think so. At Ogata and Kisarage already, so Ogata can probably be wiped. Not wiped, but you know what I mean. We got Shinonome and Gota. And Fuyasaki and Sekigahara. Maybe to play it safe, I will not have Natsuno in this fight. Because I have a feeling maybe Natsuno will be in the next one. So let's have Natsuno down. And let's have... Moving out. Yeah, because you have an EMP stunner. That's basically what I'm having. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that. that. Oh, and I can still have one more. Shinonome. Understood. Shinonome is always a good one to have, in my opinion. Okay. Let's check out meta chips. Okay, let's look at all these. Uh... Hyper Condenser. A modified condenser extends the Demolisher Blade's range and number of attacks. Shit. I might want to put that on. Is that like a... Yeah, that's a passive, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's a good thing to have on for him. Counter! Composite Symmetric Armor. Yes, please. Immune to attacks dealing 500 damage or less due to specific composite armor. So put that on. Unleashes a random barrage of missiles toward ground kaiju within target area. Or school cooldown device. Uh, weight time recovery speed increased by 30% due to powerful cooling device. Move central or dojo drops to one third, but attacks defeat doubles. You already have an EMP. Let's have the force cooldown. I think I, I like to just have the have everyone have a passive on and then have all these attacks on as well. What would be your passive? Slows movement. Wielding to welding torch deals heavy damage. Places a guardian at target area, acts as these coin violently explodes when destroyed. Okay, so that's basically like a upgrade guardian. You don't really have a I mean you have a guardian, but you don't really have This seems like this is a demolisher blade in a way. Anything? I mean, I would probably get rid of the heavy knuckle then for that. But it doesn't look like you have a passive. You know what? You can have the Guardian Avenger. Place the emitter on target area, shields nearby allies. Place the emitter on target area, move, recovers HP with nearby allies up to maximum 40%. That's not bad, but it only lasts for 8 seconds in this thing. I'm sure as I power it up, it probably lasts longer. Uh, you know what? You know what? Yeah, you get the shield emitter. So the last time doesn't increase, but modified condenser allows for two century gun placements. Yes, please. Force cooldown, missile rain. Rains down countless missiles in a wide area from the Sentinel. Only missiles. You know what? I think anti air bombardment. Attacks aerial kaiju within target area. In Let's give her the home missile. Super large missile. Anti-ground hunter missile. It's ground kaiju ignoring armor. Fires a high point anti-ground long range missile. Eh, that won't be so bad. You know what? I'm going to give you the missile rain. Mm. 
super large missile, missile rain, hyper condenser. That's for two consecutive railgun shots, costs 100 EP more. I don't think I have the railgun on her, do I? I mean, I don't see it. Unless it's like a... Oh yeah, it's right there. Main battery heavy railgun. Okay. I don't use it that much though, but sure. Interceptors, that'd actually probably be a good thing to have on her. If I can say allows four more interceptor units. That's only really work for if I have that on. Weird that that's on the bottom. It should be the flip flop. Uh, place the shield and recovers 30% of an ally. Yes. But is that only for one ally, or can I? Is it in an area? You know what? We'll just see. Lock on distance. Wait time. Okay. It's not bad. I wonder how high everything can be. Probably 10 would be my guess. Uh, you already have a counter, so... I mean, you already have a passive, but you'd be perfect for this, too, because you're definitely... You know what? Yeah. If anyone has this composite charismatic armor, that's perfect for them. Uh, and yeah, you can have this. That's good to me. You... As you explode, that probably wouldn't be a bad thing, but I like the passives, but not everyone has passives. Uh, yeah, you can bring the interceptors too. Good there. Probably get everyone to at least two now. Okay. Get everyone to two. That'd be actually really good. I don't think it will, though. Now I can only put in. Oh, oh my god, I didn't even have you all the way to one yet, motherfucker. Damn, I'm sorry, I'm a Gucci. Okay, well guys, that is probably going to do it for this part of Let's Play 13 Sentinels. In the next part, guys, uh, we will not do a battle, uh, but we will... Oh shit, I need to read the stuff that we learned in the thing, but we will do... Uh, Sekigahara. Ooh, I can... Wait, can we? Yes, we can. I cannot wait to see what happens with Sekigahara next, because... The last thing he got was, yeah, so that's how he learned that he's been working for Ida, but we all know that Ida's a piece of shit, so, wow, I cannot wait for that. So, before we do that, we gotta look, we gotta look at the things, we gotta look at the things, Sentry Gun and Yakisoba Pawn. Second generation Sentinel support equipment, automatically targets Kaiju and attacks them. It cannot move itself, but uses its four legs to plant itself firmly in position when placed. This increases its stability to the point that it can easily absorb the recoil from the triple rail gun. Goddamn. There doesn't seem to be any consequences of placing more than one. Holy shit. 
A processed food that combines sweet and salty yakisoba with a slightly sweet hot dog bun. Takatoshi Hijiyama's favorite thing to eat. Because he once let a so yakisoba punk go to waste after a punk knocked it from his hands, he decided that proper etiquette is to enjoy it somewhere alone so that no one can interfere. Megumi Yakishiji blessed Hijiyama with her yakisoba pan when she happened to pass by as he was about to collapse from hunger. This is the moment yakisoba pan became Hijiyama's favorite food, as well as the reason he started calling Yakishiji the yakisoba pan angel. Hijiyama claims that it's the most delicious food that this era has to offer. But what about hamburger? Hamburger! Oh my god, those two are fucking dorks and I love them so much. But anyway guys, that is going to do it for this part of Let's Play 13 Sentinels. In the next part guys, we'll do A, Sikigahara, no battle. Then after A, we'll do whoever the next person is, which I think is Tome? No, it's Yuki. Guys, ooh, I, I'm so glad we are seeing some of these events happen for other people. Because probably after Yuki, then we'll be able to do Natsuno. And then after Natsuno, we'll be able to see like how Amaguchi and them came back. So that'd be so cool. <sighs> Cannot wait. These are all getting so fucking cool. Now with Seki Gaharls, we'll probably learn how he got to Sentinel 12 or whatever Sentinel he's in. 11? I don't remember which one he's in. No, he's not in 13. I was about to say you're 13, but no, that's Karabe. And obviously, I know... Uh, Ogata's in 10, and I think Hijama is in 11, so yeah, he has to be in 12, so. But yeah, I can't wait to learn how he got his Sentinel, if he passed down his original Sentinel, which is Sentinel 15, to, uh, Fuyasaka, so I can't wait. So, yeah. Uh, okay. I can't wait, so thank you all so much for watching this video, guys. If you liked the video, please give the like button a click. Comment down below if you like about the video, didn't like about the video, and let me know what do you guys think about the, um, uh, we didn't really learn much in Chu's story. We kind of already knew some of that stuff, but I, I mean, I guess I kind of, I guess the, the big thing is that Kisarage is Mi, Miyuki Inaba. But I, I mentioned like, I could see why, how she could be it. And so it's like one of those things, if you pay attention, if you're kind of piecing it together, it's like, well, we haven't really seen this person from 2188. Well, it's this person, so... Yeah, if you're really paying attention and piecing the pieces together, you can definitely see uh, it being the case. So, uh, I guess that's the one big thing that probably got revealed. And everything else kind of didn't really get revealed at too much. But I'm excited to see what happens afterwards in Natsuno's story. So, yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RPG Kingdom Kid Twitter, are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.